Welcome to TechBrothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to use AZ Copy to get the list of all the files uh, which are uh, on the Azure Blob storage, and also we will get the size of uh, those files. Uh, now, once uh, we get this uh, li list of the files, uh, we would like to save that uh, list of the files with size uh, um, in the some CSV file or TXT file or whatever. So now, now this is going to be very easy, and I see that this is a lot of. Uh, usage for this one because often we have all these files sitting here maybe in the input container or subfolders further in and we would like to get that list of the files and then their size as well but there is no straightforward way that I can download all the list of the files with size so what I was exploring one thing we can do we can use the AZ copy so that that's the way we are going to go with the Okay, so first of all, uh, what you need, uh, you need uh, to download the AZ copy. So first, uh, copy this link. I'm going to put this in description so you can simply go and download. Uh, open a new explorer and here uh, you're going to download. Uh, so there are four uh, different uh, ver types uh, or versions or whatever you call uh, they're available. Uh, one for Windows 64, one is for Windows 32, and then uh, one six Linux uh, 86 and uh, 32, that's mean 32 and 64, and then uh, Mac operating system as well. So download according to your operating system you have on machine. Uh, now in my case, uh, I have a Windows uh, 64, so I just click there, it downloaded the file. Uh, so it's gonna download this file here. So the download is completed uh, and uh, I'm going to open this folder and right click here and then uh, extract here. So I can go ahead and extract here. Let me make it a large size and uh, now in the right here in the downloads. Uh, so right click here and extract uh, all. So I already have actually uh, downloaded and extracted so you can see multiple folders here. So that's fine. Uh, not a big deal. And uh, once you have there, you are going to double click and uh, it's going to show you two files. The one is azcopy.exe and the other one is a notice.txt. So this is the folder, just leave this open. Now, second part, uh, what we need, uh, we need uh, to go to the blob storage. And uh, let's say I am on my Azure portal and here is my storage. So this uh, storage, uh, if you see right there, they, I have two storage accounts. Uh, I have... Uh, uh, my tech brothers storage test one and then I have tech brothers storage so once I click on this uh, storage is the I can go to the share access signature so I need here and then I need to generate uh, the share signature for that because I need to run the command that require me to have SAS now you can go and give permissions here and if you want to give for a short time you are fine here if you want to give for a long time you can also provide for some months or maybe days and generate this SAS connection string now this token will be created and the SAS token that's what we are going to use so this is on your storage level not on container level so once you create it then you can use for multiple containers and the command we are going to use is going to be something like this. Um, so if we will open AZ copy and uh, then uh, uh, we will uh, provide say AZ copy then we'll say list and then uh, we will provide our HTTPS and then uh, here is our storage. So tech um, uh, test one and then uh, this uh, part is going to stay as it is. Uh, now after that uh, you are going to provide your container name here. And uh, after that container, you are going to provide that uh, SAS, uh, your uh, uh, token uh, right there. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy this token and update. Uh, so if I go, I'm going to make this small so I can just copy paste. Uh, so from here to container, I can just delete everything and just paste. Uh, so there are two question marks. I just remove one. So you see right there, that's uh, what we need to do. So you have storage name here, and then you have, uh, this is the hard-coded values here, then your container name, and then after that, the SS token will be there. So in our case, it's, uh, this uh, path I just showed you became from our tech TBS, uh, TB storage uh, test one. Now, first of all, we need to open the AZ copy uh, utility. So we go to that folder where we have uh, this uh, uh, download. I'm gonna copy this path. Uh, from here and uh, now I'm going to open a CMD first uh, in the CMD I'm going to navigate to this uh, folder so right now I'm at my user Shazad so I will say CD just right click here and navigate to this uh, path now I can DIR 
and uh, when I select directories, uh, it's uh, going to show me all those uh, files available. So I have two files, uh, the same file that's shown here, it just it's in a command line. Um, now that's fine, and uh, now what I need to do here, I can uh, uh, take that command, and uh, from here we can just uh, copy paste. So you can use list or you can say ls is going to work in the same way. So copy this and uh, then uh, uh, go to the command line and paste. Uh, so if I hit enter, it's getting me list of uh, all those uh, files uh, from the input uh, container. And you can see that, uh, see info, first it says info, then it uh, have your file name and then have uh, this uh, uh, terminator right there. So let me make it a little bigger so you can see. Now you see that, uh, so it starts with info colon, you can always remove if you want. Uh, and uh, then uh, you have file name here, and uh, then you have a content length, uh, that's your size uh, right there. So B for uh, bytes and K for kilobytes, uh, and uh, this is how it is. But I have small files here. So remember that we have multiple folders here. If you have folder, then it's gonna show you folder backslash the file name. Um, so folder one, folder two, and all that right there. So let me show you here. If I go back to my storage, in my storage, uh, I have multiple containers, but we are extracting the data from, uh, or listing the file from input container. So from the input container, for folder one and folder two. So my folder two has uh, two, three files. If I go back to my uh, CMD, I'm gonna see three files, folder two, folder two, folder three, and these are the files. Now, this is uh, also kind of, uh, you know, uh, sometime you wanna save these files in some, uh, a file or some CSV file and all that and later on maybe you want to use it. So just use the same command at the end uh, you're gonna use this uh, griddle and sign and then provide the path uh, where you would like to save that file. Um, let's save this file in this path. Uh, I'm going to copy this and then uh, come back to command line and here I'm gonna paste and then I will say my blob file list dot csv or you know dot txt or whatever so it's your choice so i'm gonna hit enter and what's gonna do now is did not show me all the contents here or list of those files here actually it just pasted or uh, wrote to the file so i'm gonna go back here and uh, you can see right there my blob list dot txt file so here i can edit and uh, then you can see that uh, i have uh, file names and uh, then uh, all those file names and even I have folder and then file name and after that uh, I have uh, the length of those uh, contents uh, for each of the file. So this is how you can get uh, or read the, the list of uh, the file names with uh, their size. Uh, uh, what I will do, I will uh, put this uh, script uh, in the description so you can use it and uh, make you know uh, get the list of those your files and with size. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.